So Mary, what did you find for us today? Honorable Abdul Sobo Olaiwola Olawale, a member of Lagos State House of Assembly, has passed away after he slumped at APC's presidential campaign in Jos Plateau State on Tuesday, November 15th. Popularly known as Omititi, the deceased was the member of the representing motion constituency at the Lagos State House of Assembly. The lawmaker were among the politicians and members of the ruling APC who stormed just for the kickoff of Tinubu's presidential campaign ahead of the 2023 general elections. That is very sad. Yeah, I mean, uh, so. I mean, I guess the pressure is a lot for them as well. Mm. You know, but may he still rest in peace. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I see why you're sad because you went to look for sad story. For sad story, I mean. Right. <laughs> so so be I'm beginning to So understand. before we take your story, Elsie, mm. let's let's talk about today. So the International Day of Tolerance is an annual observance day declared by UNESCO in nineteen ninety five to generate public awareness of the dangers of intolerance. So it's observed today on November sixteenth. Mm. I think everything is just aligning with the conversation today mm. because yeah. I think tolerance <laughs> and the opposite, the intolerance of it is mm -hmm. also a key driver for yeah. um, today's conversation so I think it just really fits that some of the challenges that we're facing today whether it's um, I won't say racially but it's not racially tribally mm -hmm. um, even a, across political divides right mm -hmm. it's still something that um, we need to be able to focus on tolerance everybody needs to have a voice and be heard and be allowed to be heard because I think today one of the tragedies of social media is that if you have a dissenting voice or if you're not part of a minority, quote exactly. you can't speak up. Exactly. The minority can be from any... From any, exactly, yeah, any of these factors. Once you're part of the minority, don't, don't speak up. I, I, I like the idea, I mean, how you put it, but um, tolerance as well needs to be, which we need to try to spread it across, mm -hmm. because, and also have a balance. There are some things we shouldn't tolerate, which is why we've gotten here. And maybe the word toleration will not be what we would have, would have used. Mm. But because we just look at these things and let it slide, like, let's, let's, let's go, let's tolerate this. Now, a uh -huh. person, bring it, cover it. How do they speak that proverb? Something, issue, something. <laughs> um, you know, we just keep doing it. So there needs to be a balance in this tolerance as well. Mm. Um, but absolutely, I, I, I get where the whole um, collaboration is coming from. And um, I just know we need to find the balance globally, not just in Nigeria. Absolutely. And on that note, what did you find for us? In oh, I've forgotten that. <laughs> okay, so um, appeal court orders um, police to pay 50 million and tender an apology to Charlie Boy. Um, so Charlie Boy had obtained a 50 million uh, judgment over the violation of his rights by the police during the resume or resign protest he led in August 2017 against President Muhammad Buhari. Um, so they went to court of appeal to appeal, right? And um the judgment held the award and also then added a hundred thousand naira as cost of prosecuting the legal action so they need to pay him that one as well um apologize and i'm just really wondering how the police is going to pay this 50 million naira. i did that reach i thought you said they are broke so where would they get the money from they how is it going to work money. they'll find money this you feels like this feels that, like so. that debt you know that you have and you're not going to get it forever and ever but you just what, would they really pay this 50 million now? The person they are owing the money is vocal enough and big enough for the fight. I feel like his, his great-grandchildren sure would just say <laughs> that, oh, the government is owing my dad. I'm going to get some for <laughs> Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's hope that he gets paid. Um, so I tried to take a very light-hearted story today. Uh, the 2023 Grammy nominations are out. And mm. one of the things... Even if Nigerians can't be proud of Nigeria, mm -hmm. one of the things we can be proud of mm -hmm. is our it's music. music. It's yeah. really Nigeria to the world, right? And we're really seeing our stars doing great, great, great. So, of course, the African giant, Damini, Burner Boy. Mm -hmm. um, so, his latest album, Love Damini, has been nominated um, for uh, Best Global Music Album. And the hit song, Last Last has mm. also been nominated for Best Global Music Performance. Yeah. Like, see, see what hard group does. <laughs> move on, move on. Good, good, good motivation. But you know... I but that's how it works, right? Ask Adele and Cole. That's, that's how well, it's true. true. The best yeah. music comes from pain. Yes, yeah. right. But I think what shocked me the most, right, was just the fact that um, I just Googled him. 
and he had been on all the top talk shows and performed mm -hmm. last last like so he's been on um i think is it tonight's trevor noah mm -hmm. um yeah he's been on that show a few times so you're kind of you know expect to see him there but then i saw him on jules holland mm -hmm. on the in the uk no, he's been, he's performing been last last and i was like man forget it so we've arrived mm -hmm. this is yeah this is it so i mean it's just for me it's so exciting to see that we're giving something that the world truly appreciates yeah. that's putting our stars out there i think thames is also um, coming up she's part of a, nom a nominated song yeah, I think, um, yeah so so we're doing great things and you know I, I just I just want to applaud yeah our I think it's, it's, say, it's, it's even thing. beyond um, music our entertainment industry as it mm. is just amazing so Nollywood uh, just look at what happened with Wakanda, Wakanda and forever. how the stars not not like Wakapas in the movie yeah. already, like the main cast of that movie had to come to Nigeria to premiere it mm. and I, I was just wow then look at the album that was released for it um we had i think about 40 percent of nigeria yep. on the album um so I, I just looked at the whole thing after watching the movie and i was so proud of my people um beyond the whole drama the whole what i know was bad leadership yeah. negativity yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know we're, we're still forging ahead and when we have the opportunity to take the center stage not um, any other way we take it and we own it so i'm really proud of every um nigerian every young nigerian doing us proud the one way or the other we love you and i think that's the only reason we can still raise our head of eye yeah wherever yep, we yep. go to um you travel out of the shores of this country actually within africa and you see how they are really proud of you forget about mm, the drama mm, in the media mm, and social media mm. once they know you're from nigeria oh my god oh my god yeah. i mean i just came back from uganda and everybody was just so happy to know mm. that a nigerian came in I went to the radio station. A Nigerian is here, so it's. I'm. I'm just proud of us. That's yeah, what I'm really yeah. trying to say. It's just great to have those opportunities. Yeah. Like I said, it feels like it doesn't come around often, but um, where we're given the opportunity, I think for me, it just shows how far we can go Absolutely. and what the realities could be. Mm -hmm. um, a different side of the coin to that. Absolutely. So very excited for that i think on that note mm -hmm. we shall take a break and when we come back we'll bring in our guest 